It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the Buffalo Bills. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. All right, no table is safe outside of Highmark Stadium because this crowd is loud and this crowd is ready for a ball game. We're just outside of Buffalo in Orchard Park, New York. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage, and maybe six points, too. Here's Tyler Bass to get this one started. And we're off and running from Western New York. Damian Pierce now to return it. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So here come the Texans for their opening drive. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. C.J. may not have been the number one pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, but he was clearly the number one rookie in all of the NFL last year. Near unanimous rookie of the year. In fact, even earning MVP votes, Kate, it wasn't just a little bit of a rebound and a rebuild for Houston. It was a remake in a hurry. And what can he do in his sophomore season? It would be must-see TV. You know, I, I've learned over the years, defensively, they call that the camera club. How many different guys can get rallying to the football? So that last shot you see on camera, you see as many defenders keeping that to a zero-yard gain. That's well done defensively. It's mixed in on second down. And he found some running room for a nice gain. A solid eight-yard gain there, and now they're going to have third and two. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. We send a man in motion. Third down, Nixon gets it. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense forcing a fourth down. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. And I imagine they were hoping they wouldn't need to bring him out so soon into this game. And he's brought down before the return gets far. So now the Bills will get their turn at an opening drive of the game. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. And it was another MVP caliber season for Josh, a season to go double digit wins, huge numbers. This guy just produces and has each and every year. And what I love, and I know his organization loves, was him breaking that NFL quarterback record with 15 rushing touchdowns. He's able to drive that pile about a yard. Play made that time by Danico Autry. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Has it left side, Brock, but the throw carried him too close to that edge. I'm going to say brought it in out of bounds, and that's going to bring up fourth down. The best of the best, they just have this intuition, Kate. They know where the boundary is without looking. This receiver's not quite at that level yet. 
He lost track of where he was, and he brought it in, but out of bounds. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Takes it in at the 26. It's a nice running on that return. He gets it up past the 35. This one returned for 11 yards. And it's going to be Texans football. Markers reset, ball at the 37. This round throwing here on first. Mechie hauls it in. A lot of grass ahead. They rip off a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and 10 from the red zone. Working inside the red zone. Connects with Mechie. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. From the gun, Stroud. And oh, he got it! Interception! Dorian Williams makes the play. That's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. Here comes the Bills offense for their second drive of the game. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. Trying it left side with Cook. And he'll scurry forward for a pickup of three. Okay, that's a run to toe hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one. Softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Second down now, seven to go. Motion man is the tight end here, going left. Here's second and seven. That'll be complete to Hollins. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Allen setting up to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Throwing now on first down, Allen. Cook calls it in. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. All right, here we go, second down. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And that's good for a gain of five. Look at Jimmy Ward getting up there to make that stop. Got him five yards back, and that's going to bring up third and ten. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. That throw's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down coming up. You know, that is so hard to do. That's called body control. Great positioning to swat the ball away, not go through the receiver, no penalty flag. He's got the body control and, more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. 
Sam Martin on again now to punt it away. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. No return on that punt. And they're going to take over possession. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Man in motion out of the slot. Here's Stroud on first and ten. Has a man, Dalton Schultz. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Into the hands of Schultz. And he'll get it up to the 44. Give him eight yards on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Can I have a moment, Kate? Just a moment to marvel at how well they reacted to that play on defense. They were all over it from the start, getting behind the line to blow up a play that how many times do we see his highlight reel touchdowns going the other way? Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. All plays on the table here for third and three. Stroud off the play fake. Complete to Dell. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 35 out of that one. And the Texans are going to have a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. From the red zone now. This one's caught. And he drives this forward to the six. All right, still scoreless through one quarter, but that looks like it's going to change pretty soon. Couple of zeros on the board right now. We'll return to Highmark Stadium in just a moment. Welcome back. Time for our second quarter. The Texans with a chance to score. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. Touchdown, Houston! So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And the kick is good. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Ty Johnson now to return. And this drive will start inside the 25. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. You no, know, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. They're set up at the 35 now. 
Cook trying this one up the gut. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down throw for Allen. To the sideline it goes. He's got to be on the marker. It looks like he stayed in as well. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Allen now on first down. Connection made to Shakir. And he's caught after a gain of about two. Look at Jimmy Ward getting up there to make that stop. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 36. Short pass brought in. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Allen on third down. That's cut for the first. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's good for a Bills first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Allen setting up play action. He's got the hook up to Cooper. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. To the air again, Allen. And he scores. It's a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. Dalton Kincaid with the touchdown. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Bills tie this game 7-7. Bass now to kick this away. Pierce now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Texans are headed back to the field on offense, so we get a look at Tank Dell. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. On play action, here Stroud. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Trying to hit his fullback there. And that'll bring up second down. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. 
No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun now for Stroud. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Running back sent in motion. Stroud now on third. He has the first over the middle. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. First and ten are on the mix in. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Here we go, second and nine. Pass complete to Mechie. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. From the gun, Stroud. Heaves this one for the back of the end zone. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And it's going to be second down. You know, ball skills are not just a selling point for receivers entering the draft. Teams want defenders, especially in this day and age of the passing game, who can make plays on the ball, too, especially on these deeper throws. He doesn't swat that one away. We could be looking at a huge game. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. That sure ended up being worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. To the air, Stroud. He's going deep. Well, they had the look, certainly didn't shy away from it, but couldn't connect. And now they're stuck facing fourth down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. The Texans set to punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. Got 46 on his first punt, and this one's pushing a little more distance. And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. This will be caught by Cooper. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainers heading out to take a look. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Putting a receiver in motion. 
From the 26 on second down. And he'll be brought down after getting to the 47-yard line. A gain of 27 yards there. And that's good for a Bills first down. It's the two-minute warning now from Highmark. The Bills driving ahead. On first down, Allen. And a man is there to knock that away. Any DB prefers a highlight reel interception to just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized a pick wasn't possible on the play, well, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Play action now with Allen. Brought in by Hollins. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Jalen Petrie there on the stop. Bills moving quickly now. They're in the hurry up. Allen on the play action. Looking the sideline. That's Coleman. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Again, Allen to the air. Complete to Shakir. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. From the red zone now. Curtis Samuels there for the catch. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. To throw again, it's Allen. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Allen going to throw again. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. The Bills are going to go ahead and call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They've got a man in motion. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. So now it'll be second and goal. Yeah, that's one that's going to haunt him. There's just no question about it. A drop touchdown in the end zone. Now comes the mental toughness part of it. you got to flush that play quickly so you can make an impact later. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Escapes the pocket. And he scores. It's a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills get some late points and the lead. Josh Allen, the touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith. Right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You gotta be an artist. And you gotta be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. 
Bass gets the extra point to go. And the Rams break that tie and now lead by seven. Bass now to kick this away. Here's Steven Sims with the return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. It's round throwing here on first. Schultz with the catch. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Operating from the gun. It's Stroud. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Houston calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. To the air yet again. It's Stroud. Mechie hauls it in. And he'll go out of bounds close to that 35-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Here's Stroud on first and 10. He completes it in traffic. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard gain. Making the stop that time, Taron Johnson. Now it's Kaimi Fairbairn on to try it for the Texans. Ball spotted on the left hash, 49 yards out. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. And the deficit stays at seven. Gosh, it didn't look like anything was wrong with that snap or hold either. He just rushed it a bit, and it winds up off the mark. Here comes the final play of our first half. One final shot before halftime. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. It's halftime here in Buffalo. The Bills with the lead after two. Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check-in around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half of football by the great quarterback, Josh Allen. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys Fair into the lead it all set at the up break. The kickoff. Johnson with a return here. And look at this return. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. The Bills are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. They put a receiver in motion here left. Allen now on first down. Has him on the quick hitter. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. 
That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Shakir in motion right. And he's brought down for a loss. Hey, look, in the right situation, you catch a team off guard. Well, this could be a tremendous play for some big yards. <laughs> but in the wrong situation, you get hit in the mouth right behind the line of scrimmage. So now here's third and five. Man in motion here. Allen on third and short. Finds Kincaid. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. First down throw for Allen. Fires right away, but incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. So that brings up second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Third and just two to go. Here he goes on the bootleg. That's caught for the first. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. That play good for 17 and a first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Lucky that didn't end as an interception. So it's second down coming up. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. Going jumbo set on this first and goal. Let's come in here, Allen. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills grow the lead coming out of halftime. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. you got to be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. Bass on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bills double their lead to 14. Bass now to 
to kick this away. Pierce now on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Houston offense out and ready to set up shop. Their work really cut out for him now, partner, to follow up that touchdown and get things back to a one-score game. First down, Stroud. Pass complete to Mechie. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. A handoff for Mixon, running right. Crosses midfield, still going. And he gets this down to the 38. They get 27 on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Kate, that's the type of run that shines the light well on him as a runner, of course. But you got to give a lot of credit to everybody else. So, skill guys, when you have an outside run, they got to do their job. Not just the big boys up front, not just the running backs. That takes everyone on the perimeter blocking to get a big run like that. Shotgun now for Stroud. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Christian Benford up to make that stop. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Here we go, second and nine. He finds Woods. And they take him down right along the 30. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Out of the shotgun, a gift to Mixon. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. From the gun, Stroud. Complete to Dell. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. They're going to run here. It's Mixon. And he stopped just a little short of the goal line. He's down to the two. He gets him six, and that's going to bring up second and goal. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. Mixon. With some fancy footwork there for the touchdown. The Texans start the second half with some needed points. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. Fairbairn now for the PAT. And the extra point is up, and it is good. And the Texans chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Johnson now on the return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Bills, ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. 
And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader, I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. They're out and set, first and ten. And they send a man in motion. Throwing now on first down, Allen. Shakir with the ground. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain at a first down. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's good for a Bills first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. First and 10. Here's Allen. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that this lock. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Back to the air, Allen. Pass complete to Cook. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. To the air again, Allen. Caught, nice game left side. And he will score, touchdown Buffalo! The Bills lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Amari Cooper, the touchdown. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Bass on for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Rams double their lead to 14. Bass now to kick this away. Sims now on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Texans and C.J. Stroud all set to go for their next drive. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. Now begin with a run by Mixon. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Brought down by Rasul Douglas. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game, the type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. On play action, here's Stroud. Flushed out of the pocket. He keeps it and takes off. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. Battle coming up on third and inches. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That's a short gain of one. And it sets up a Houston first. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. He slated down to approach here from the 40. They motion Dell over left. 
It's round throwing here on first. Dell with the grab. And he goes out, just needed one more step there to reach midfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 48. Short pass brought in. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. They get six and a first down as well. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. New set of downs for him from the 46. Finds Woods. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. Gets this to Woods. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They have themselves another first and ten. He'll throw it yet again. Play didn't break how they wanted it, and he throws this away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. To the corner of the end zone, but incomplete. Oh, he made the catch, but didn't get down in bounds. Gosh, I love how the receiver creates space from the defender, and even more so the concentration to make the catch. What he didn't have, was enough real estate to get his feet in and make an exciting completion. A gift to mix in up the middle. And he doesn't get this one very far, down to only about the 18. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Defense just needs to hold them short. It's fourth and seven. Pressure comes. Stroud. That's cut beyond the marker. And in for the Houston touchdown. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Texans chop the lead in half, it's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Johnson with a return here. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. 
the home teams. Then receiver Amari Cooper making their way back out. And he's been reading the coverage, dare I say, Brock, even better than his quarterback has all game. I mean, he just continues to find openings and make plays in this second half. First down throw for Allen. They did it! He made the interception! Picked off by Jalen Petrie. And it's a touchdown as he brings it back for the pick six. Went to the old well one too many times, Brock, and this time the defense was ready for it. Yeah, you make as many catches as he has in this game, you're going to attract some extra attention. They knew it was probably going his way in the near future, and they had somebody there waiting for it that time. So a chance to tie it up again here in the fourth. The kick is good, so this game now hinging on every possession as we're tied up in the fourth. A quick chance at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. And it bounces out of the end zone, so they'll set up shop at the 30. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. First and 10 now from the 30. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. Back to the air, it's Allen after the pick. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. And we'll see what they do here on second down. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Second down, Allen throwing again. Connects with Cook. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. He was doing all he could to find a completion down the field, but they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. And the Texans go in nickel coverage, third down. Allen dialing up a receiver screen. Jukes breaks through and he might break away and they finally bring him down but that is a big gain and a new set of downs this one goes for an even 25 yards and that's good for a bill's first down so many times kate when i see these receiver screens i think punt return it's like a punt return on punt return it's all about those blocks the returner's got to catch it and he's got to feel those blockers in front of him it's no different on a big play like this with the wide receiver screen to throw again, it's Allen. That's Kincaid with a catch out left. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He could take it to the house. Allen now on first down. That's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. Couldn't connect with Amari Cooper. And now it's second down. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Allen going to throw again. Connection made to Shakir. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Again, Allen to the air. Complete to Shakir. 
The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. Options are open here. It's second and inches. They bring their tight end left. From the 16. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Dalton Kincaid, the intended target. And what will they dial up on third and short? As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Putting the tight end in motion. Looking to throw. Brought in right side by Kincaid. And he takes it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills take a fourth quarter lead. Dalton Kincaid with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. The impact this guy has had on this game, Brock, has been massive. They'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns. Yeah, and that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances. Puts him in front here in the second half and puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense. Bass on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Bills break that tie and now lead by seven. Bass now to kick this away. Pierce now on the return. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. Out now come the Texans on offense. Still time to go, Bronk, but that touchdown has them down now seven. They've got to find the end zone here. First down, Stroud. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball into your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Here's Stroud on first and 10. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun now for Stroud. He finds Woods. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it sets up a Houston first. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. To hit a curl route of that length, it takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Stroud throwing here on first. And that finds him in the end zone for the Houston touchdown. The Texans now trailed by just a point in the fourth. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. On for the PAT, and a make would tie us up late. The kick is good, so this game now hinging on every possession as we're tied up in the fourth.
Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Johnson now on the return. He's brought down to end that return as we've reached our two-minute warning. First and ten now from the 30. Putting a receiver in motion. Looking to throw it. He finds Kincaid. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Move the chains! Gotta move their chains! Go momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Bills moving quickly now. They're in the hurry up. Throwing now. Oh, nice adjustment to bring in that tipped pass. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good for a Bills first down. That is so difficult to do with so much traffic. You're going to see the short pass gets tipped, and you really don't have much time other than to just react and make the catch. Exactly what he does. Here he is to throw. Finds Kincaid. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Here's Cook. And they're going to do it, Brock. They break the tie in the final minute. It's a touchdown. So how about the determination there? This game has been as hard fought as you will see. But they grab hold of the lead here with a late touchdown that may just win them the ball game. You could almost feel them saying, Kate, we don't want overtime. Let's go out yeah. and get it done now. They accomplished their goal. But you do have to ask the question, do they leave too much time on the clock? Stay tuned. Bass on for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Rams break that tie and now lead by seven. now to kick this away. Pierce now on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. Houston's offense back out now and ready to go. They have been automatic scoring in this quarter and yet another opportunity to do so here. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Now to throw. And this throw is knocked away, incomplete. That one firmly denied by the man in coverage. So it'll be second down. That's just simply great positioning to swat the ball away. He stayed in a spot where he could disrupt the throw before the target and make a play on it. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. To throw. Finds Woods. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. Houston calls it second timeout. Still one more in their pocket to use. To the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. Here he is to throw. On target to his back, Joe Mixon. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Second and three now.
He'll look to throw it. Throw right side. Dell has it. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. Setting up to pass. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And he nearly gets to the 25 before going out. 16 yards on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. One final shot here. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. Deflected. Oh, they couldn't bring it in off the tip drill, though. They had the chance they wanted, Brock. But no, that's how this one's going to end. So it's the Bills who come away with the win. And there was no easy knock. It took some white knuckling until the very end. But their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. Well, that'll do it for us, for Brock Heward and our entire hardworking crew. I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bills as we say so long from Buffalo.